This is Captain Hauser, a new clone from the Bad Batch who instantly became a fan favorite. So, I made him a custom heavy bark speeder. And this Hauser minifigure obviously isn't made by LEGO, it's actually a pad printed custom minifigure by Grandpa Clone Customs. Then I also picked up their Captain Grey and have their Imperial Commander Cody to complete what I'm calling the Bad Batch Pack. Now GCC doesn't actually sell or advertise all three of these as a Bad Batch Pack, but that's what I'm calling this group. And I imagine more than a few of you in my audience aren't very familiar with customs, so let me very simply and quickly describe what these are. As I mentioned, these are pad printed custom minifigures, which is the same printing technique that LEGO uses to make their official minifigures. And Grandpa Clone Customs mimics the style of LEGO's clone troopers so these look like official clones. And they are printed on official LEGO parts. So that means these minifigures are printed the same as LEGO figures, they're in the same style as LEGO clone trooper figures, and they're printed on official LEGO parts. So as of right now, this is the closest we can get to having some of these characters in an official LEGO minifigure form. And I myself am still very new to customs, so if I happen to get anything wrong throughout this video, someone more intelligent correct me down below. Now first, Imperial Commander Cody, who we've already taken a look at in a YouTube short, but I wanted to revisit him quickly for the anti-shorts group. And as I've said before, I think this figure is amazing. The printing top to bottom is absolutely spot on, but especially on the helmet. All these small details being so accurately printed is something I can't imagine LEGO doing. I feel like they'd remove some details for simplicity's sake. The rest of his body just follows Cody's normal design just with an imperial color scheme, and he also comes with his official LEGO visor to complete his look, but you do have to supply your own Cody headpiece, because all these clones come with unprinted black heads. Now Tom the Builder, a GCC reseller, actually sent me this imperial Cody for my YouTube short, and he also gave us a sweet discount code, so if you want to pick up some GCC minifigures like these and save some money, use the link down below. Captain Grey is up next, and if you don't remember who this guy is, that's okay, I didn't either, but I looked it up and he's from the very first episode of The Bad Batch when Order 66 takes place. He's a very cool minifigure. If Commander Cody had the helmet printing on lock, then Captain Grey has the arm printing locked down. All three of these figs have arm printing, but Grey's is slightly more impressive to me because of these incredibly thin white and green stripes on top of the standard armor print. Then to help complete his look, I picked up these extra pauldrons from the Cape Cantina for both Hauser and Grey. Captain Grey's is a two-piece while Hauser's is one. I'm not sure why, but they both work and look great. But you do have to bend these cloth pieces into shape, and since I don't have the old clone armor pieces to do the fix from Mayday's video, I just had to build some bricks on either side of these figures and leave them in there for a few days. Which worked alright enough for a budget solution, but if you have the hard plastic pauldrons or can afford to get a new one, just do that instead. And when I say a budget solution, I mean it, because as you can see, by the end of this video, the pauldrons were already starting to fold back up. Finally, Captain Hauser. Clones and turquoise will always look amazing. But other than his color, Hauser doesn't actually have a very complicated or personalized design. It's a rather simplistic look with just a little bit of color on all his limbs and his chest, and I love that. Turquoise is a very easy color to overdo, so I'm happy Star Wars kept it simple. But Hauser is the lucky one of the group because he got his own vehicle. This is Captain Hauser's custom heavy bark speeder. It was originally based on 75280's bark speeder, but I did take a bit of inspiration from the newer bark speeder escape set that's coming out soon. And I built this mock with the idea of it being the vehicle that Hauser used during his time on Ryloth while protecting the Twi'leks, so for him to do that, I made some upgrades. The nose of the speeder of course has the standard intake and steering vanes, but I added on some headlights above the light blasters for any nighttime operations. The driver's seat is the same as the 501st set, except I added a small control panel underneath the joystick and a blaster holder in front of him so he can quickly dismount and get right into combat. I also made the headrest and the entire rear of the speeder quite a bit taller and bulkier, just to increase the overall size and profile of the build. Now on either side of our driver, we have the largest upgrades from a normal bark speeder, these two massive engines. There's thick armor plating on all sides protecting those large intakes that lead to these two thrusters on the back, plus this extra thruster I added down the middle. And this is only my second build ever that I created digitally first and then physically tested after, so as a result there is a small stability issue with the engines and how the side panels can separate from the top panel really easily. So when you're putting the engines on, I recommend pushing by the cannons on the sides so you don't separate the plates. And speaking of the cannons on the side, let's take a look at this additional firepower. And I actually designed two versions of these cannons and asked you guys to vote for your favorite over on my Instagram because I couldn't decide. And the one you see now won the vote, but I really like the runner-up as well. 
It looks very similar to the 501st Bark Speeder Cannons, and it's got much more depth and detail because of this blaster piece. But if you would prefer a cleaner and sleeker cannon, you might like the winning design more. But let me know what you think of Hauser's Bark Speeder and the minifigures down in the comments below. And if you want to build one of these for yourself, I have PDF building instructions plus a parts list available on my Patreon page right now. And if you like this video or the build, make sure you subscribe down below because another clone captain minifigure just arrived and it looks like I'm not done with turquoise yet.